that we can do that can bring us very close to Allah and earn us massive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these last 10 days and night of Ramadan. The first act of worship I would like to suggest is to intensify our recitation of the Quran. It's the recitation of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran chapter 97 verse 1 in Anzalinahu Indeed, verily, the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad in the, in the, in the night of Laila to the Qadri, on the night of power, on the night of decree. Therefore, we should massively intensify our effort to complete our Quran if we haven't yet done so. And if we have done so, may Allah SWT reward us and we should continue to read it till the end of Ramadan. May Allah SWT make it easy for us. The second act of worship we can engage ourselves in in this last 10 days and night of Ramadan is charity. Uh, Asma bin Abu Bakri was supposed to have said that charity never decreases our wealth, rather, it will increase it for us. Don't let us think that I'm not very rich, I don't have much to give. You can give as little as one euro uh, every day till the end of Ramadan. Uh, because any act done in this last 10 days on night of, of Ramadan, if that act happens to be on the night of Laila to Kodri, it will be worth more than a thousand more. It will be worth more than a thousand more. So let's be charitable. We will never get it wrong with charity. Charity acts as a, protect, a protective shield for the person that gives up for the sake of Allah. So let's 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 take advantage of it. Let's 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 be charitable. The third act of worship I would like to suggest is in Tekaf. Rasulullah used to seclude himself. It was a common practice for Rasulullah in the last ten days, ten night of Ramadan to seclude himself in masjid. Uh, let's find time to do this. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala make it easy for us. Uh, in Tikaf, brothers and sisters will do wonders for us if we, we find the time to be able to do it. Because what we do in Intikaf is that we shun the dunya. We abandon the dunya. We uh, we shun it completely and we don't want anything to the worldly distractions. We prevent the worldly distractions from preventing us from focusing on the worship of Allah in the last night of Ramadan. So in Tikaf is the third act of worship that will massively bring us close to Allah and end us massively with all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fourth act of worship that we would like to suggest for us uh, is Azkar. Uh, a man came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that all the legislative acts of worship are overwhelming for him, that they are, they, are, they are burden for him, they are too much for him. And he asked, he, 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 he consulted Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to advise him on one act of worship he could stick to. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to the man, La yazalu lizanuka rotuban min dikrillah. Don't let your tongue to cease to moist with degree of Allah. Don't allow your tongue to cease to moist with degree of Allah. So the fourth act of worship that can seriously bring us closer to Allah is Askar, is remembers of Allah. It is the remembers of Allah. We should remember Allah in this last 10 days and night of Ramadan. We can do subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanallah, they are deen. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. We continually wet our tongues, remembering Allah, la ilaha illallah, as many times as possible. We just wet our tongues with Tosqa. And last one, Allah says, Faskuruni, askurukum. If you remember me, I will remember you. That is the covenant of Allah between Him. Between Allah and his, and his slaves and his servants. So, if you continually remember Allah in this last 10 days and night of Ramadan, Allah will remember us and Allah will forgive us. 
the last act of worship we should uh, we should do in this last ten days and night of Ramadan is dua, which is dua. Rasulullah was supposed to have said, "At dua, who will ibada? At dua, who will ibada?" In another riwayah, he was supposed to have said, "At dua, who mukul ibada?" That dua, supplication, is the essence of worship. Uh, so we just we do we don't just take supplication as something that okay I just make dua when you know any time any day we make dua with full submissiveness with humility. Last one I said I say in the Quran that idru rabbakum idru rabbakum tadaru an wa ufiya inna hu la yhibul mutadi that we should call upon Allah with full submiss with full submissiveness and humility. With full submissiveness and humility, Allah does not love people that, uh, that, that, that are arrogant and that, 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 that don't, you know, call upon Him with full humility and submission. So let's call upon Allah. Aisha, uh, Allah asked Rasulullah if I'm, if we happen to be blessed with Laila to call the worship, we say, Aisha, Rasulullah replied her by saying that. By, by 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 telling her that you should say Allahumma inna ka afu'u tu'ibu la afu'a fa afu'ani Allah you have the pardon you are the one that pardon you love to pardon pardon me uh, so because if Allah pardon all our sin pardon is different from forgiveness it's different to, to forgive Allah will raise you Allah Allah will raise you from your from from your book of record so we want Allah to erase all our misgivings, all our misdeeds, all our shortcomings, all our sins, all our mistakes, to resist, to resist them from our record. So that will pave way for the acceptance of our dua. Because sins, they are the obstacles, they are the obstacles for the acceptance of dua. So once our sins are forgiven, it will be a lot easier for Allah to accept our dua. Let's ask for the goods of this world. And the good of the hereafter, as we know that one of the people dua of Rasulullah is Rabbana Atina fi dunya asana wa fi lahirat asana wa kunna zubanna. We should ask for the good of this world and the good of the hereafter. And should we should pray for our families. We should pray for our offspring that Allah should let you know pious descendant come from us. May Allah bless all our. So we should pray for our, our children, our families. And our loved ones, and then we should pray for the entire Muslim community, and we should pray for the world at large to, to, be, to be for this world to be peaceful. So these are the five acts of worship uh, we believe that will seriously uh, bring us closer to Allah and and earn us massive reward from Allah in this last ten days and night of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you and I to do, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see us through this. Uh, last 10 days and night of Ramadan. So until I come your way again, be in the light Allah with another video, uh, I say Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala Wa Barakatuh.